Well, first of all, what kind of polling have you done? What can you tell me about how the how the campaign's going? Yeah, I, I haven't done any polling. I'm not uh, directly involved in the campaign. I'm, I'm told, though, that it, it, it's going to be close. This is going to be a very close election, uh, which is why it's, it's critically important for me to continue to answer anybody's questions, to continue to talk about the truth of the matter, the fiscal realities, and where it goes from here. But, but there's no doubt it's going to be a close election. You haven't seen any poll numbers? Uh, I, the, the campaign has, has shared with me some, ca uh, some polling numbers. I don't have them memorized, but it is, it is a close race right now. Well, what's the support like in the black community? I, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't look at the cross tabs. I just saw the the top number. So you say you're not involved in the campaign. You're not involved in day to day decision making. No. So who runs it? The campaign is run by Jens Suttmuller. And uh, he is the treasurer of that campaign, and also the treasurer of your campaign. Your no. He's not. He's not my. He's not my uh, treasurer. He's not. No, um, Evan Nolan is my uh, is the treasurer of my. Is he involved in your? I, I thought I saw his name on the campaign finance reports. So we, I have worked with the ends uh, previously in previous campaigns, but currently he's not my treasurer. No. Oh, okay. Uh, the twenty twenty three campaign finance report, which I have here, has his name on it. As my, uh, as my treasurer. Let me just look. Okay. Signature of treasurer, Dan Sutmull. Is that not a campaign finance report? Just double checking here. Sorry, just looking at the date. So, uh, Dan, I apologize. Uh, Jens is is listed as my treasurer um, on that on that campaign finance report. Um, previously, uh, very recently, Evan Nolan was my treasurer. Um, it transitioned over to Jens. But but let me be clear about this. Let, let me let me answer your question. Jens is my Jens is my treasurer. I've worked with him on previous elections. Uh, I've worked with him on uh, my congressional race, um, and he has been supportive of me throughout my campaigns. It was Norfolk Southerns um, and uh, and uh, some other folks who were uh, asking about you know who's a who's a person who would be uh, well positioned to run a campaign, um, and Jens's name came up. I had no part in deciding who would run the campaign. No influence about that. I'm complete completely separate from that. Um, do you see any conflict of interest there for him to be? heavily involved in your campaign and the real campaign? I, I don't, only because, you know, I've been very, very clear and upfront about my support of the rail sale. Um, I am, I personally am getting no um, benefit from this. Um, Norfolk Southern is not a supporter of mine, is not a donor of mine. I'm, I'm uh, no intention of uh, taking any Norfolk Southern uh, uh, campaign funds. Um, I am in this specifically because I believe it's in the best interest of the city. Your face is on TV a lot. I'm is the mayor. That, isn't, that, isn't that a benefit <laughs> to you? No, I mean... I, I, but, uh, You're running for mayor so, again so, at 25, right? So I guess, I mean, being on TV is of course a benefit to all politicians, but that is not the, um, that is not why I'm doing this. You know, I'm on TV a lot irrespective of the rail sale. Um, I try to say yes to all media opportunities Whenever someone wants someone to speak on behalf of the city, of course they look for me because I'm, I'm the mayor, I am the leader of our community, and it's important for me to be out front talking about the successes, but also, frankly, the challenges, and I take that role very seriously. Isn't there a restriction on the use of public dollars in political campaigns? Yes. And that includes public employees not being allowed to be involved, but you're the spokesperson for this campaign. I wouldn't say that I'm the, the spokesperson, but I have been very, very clear that I'm supportive of it. Um, but I'm, I'm deriving no uh, financial benefit um, from the campaign whatsoever. Okay. Um, 
Can you tell me more about your relationship with Jens Submuller? How long have you sure. known him? Where have you worked together in the past? Yeah, so we're, Jens and I have worked together in the past. As I mentioned, um, he's been you know very supportive um, of my uh, political campaigns. Um, you know, he was he was absolutely with me in the 2018 congressional campaign. I you know uh, he's he's someone who's worked in politics well before I got in, into politics. Um, I consider him um, uh, one of my ad kind of unofficial advisors. I call him for advice uh, on a whole host of issues. Um, you know, he's he's certainly part of of my my kind of unofficial kitchen cabinet. Uh, Jens has an office right across from City Hall. Yes, and we hear you go there a lot. They see people see you walking back and forth across the street all the time. I, I don't know about a lot or all the time, but um, given that his. Uh, his office is nearby. I, I stop in and chat periodically. Do you talk about the campaign every time you go or the rail I, campaign? Not every time, certainly not. Okay. Um, let's, who's paying for the campaign? Yeah, the campaign is largely funded by Norfolk Southern. How much are they spending? I don't know. And none of that accrues to your benefit? No, I'm taking no money from Norfolk Southern at all. No, but the exposure you get, the the, the advocacy you're presenting, uh, if the campaign goes your way, doesn't it accrue to your benefit politically? It accrues to the city's benefit. Um, the, the the sale is critically important for the future infrastructure health of the city. Um, as I've mentioned, it, it's Im impossible right now to afford all of the basic services that we have with the current status quo budget. Uh, and this sale would be a game changer for the future of Cincinnati.